Long ago and far away, in enchanted lands across the seas, lived kings and queens, princes and princesses, good fairies and wicked witches, ferocious giants and gentle dwarfs. Their adventures and stories have been told for hundreds of years. Open the pages and listen to the words and you too can join the magical world of Once Upon a Time. The Goose with the Golden Eggs Once upon a time, there were two sisters called Grace and Hope. The girls were very kind and very well liked by the people of the town they lived in. Unfortunately, the sisters were very poor. They were so poor, they didn't have enough money for any little treats, no games, no fun. They managed to earn a little money by weaving wool. While they were weaving, they would try to think of a solution to all their problems. And then, sometimes, they would dream of a better life. And, of course, dreams don't cost anything. Poor Grace and Hope dreamt of being able to buy a goose at the market. A big, fat goose. A huge goose. Well, in fact, a medium-sized goose would do. That was their greatest wish. A goose would be the answer to a lot of their problems. They worked extra hard and saved every extra penny they made. Eventually, the pennies built up and they had enough to go to market and buy the goose of their dreams. At the market, they went straight to the stall of the goose seller. It was a difficult job fixing the right price, but finally they managed to get a real bargain. And the two sisters became the proud owners of their very own goose. Hope carried the bird very carefully and Grace stroked its neck. They felt so proud and important. Then they took the few pennies they had left and they went around the other stalls at the market. They behaved just like the other shoppers, filling their basket with all sorts of good things, choosing the best fruit, weighing everything in their hands, discussing the price of a wooden ladle until they were blue in the face. They tasted a slice of cheese at this stall, sipped a drop of wine at that stall. Then, at the end of the day, they returned home chatting about all the things that they had done and carrying their goose proudly. They were tired, but very happy. Isn't she beautiful? She's the best goose in town. Who would have thought that such a little thing as a goose could make the girls so happy? But for the sisters, who had always been so poor and had to count every penny they had, buying the goose was an exciting event. The goose was happy in her new home, and it wasn't long before she laid an egg. This was no ordinary egg. It glittered and sparkled, just like gold. And when the sisters cracked it open, instead of a yolk, some bright shiny coins fell out of the shell. Look! What a surprise! The sisters didn't know what to think. Hope, who was more used to having bad luck than good, looked at the coins, then said anxiously to her sister, I couldn't bear it if the money wasn't real. You know, chocolate coins or something like that. <laughs> now that would be a bit of luck, replied Grace playfully. When have you ever seen chocolate in this house? So they checked the coins carefully, and you can imagine their delight when they realized that they were all pure gold. It must be magic, cried Grace. This is like a dream come true, gasped Hope. The girls were not greedy. They didn't need to store up a great fortune out of the gold coins, and they were happy just to have enough to buy the food they needed without having to work all the long hours of the day. It was enough for them just to go to the shops when they needed to and bring home the things they wanted. This time, they came home with hams and chickens, with meat and tasty sausages. And as a special treat, Grace allowed herself a tiny bottle of perfume and Hope bought a simple wooden mirror. 
In their excitement, the two sisters did not notice that they were being watched by two of their neighbours. The local gossip Envy and her niece, Green with Envy. How can those dull sisters afford such delicacies as perfume and mirrors? whispered Envy. They certainly don't deserve such good fortune, replied her niece. We must do our best to find out the secret of their success. Under cover of darkness, the two gossips crept up close to their neighbor's house. Hiding themselves in the shadows, they spied on the two sisters in their home. They saw them crack open a golden egg and throw the glittering money into a copper. The aunt and her niece were overcome with jealousy. They were determined to discover the source of this extraordinary wealth. They came up with some rather unkind suggestions as to where the money had come from. Perhaps our neighbours found an old witch's spell. Perhaps they stole the money. Or maybe they sold their souls to the devil. We must watch them carefully. We must discover their secret. Look, pointed out Envy, there's a hole in the wall of their house. We can see right into their pantry. We'd better take this opportunity to see what's going on, the niece said, because now they have the money, it won't be long before they have the cracks in their house mended. <coughs> look, look, cried out the aunt. They have a goose. They were getting close to the truth. <coughs> Through the hole in the wall, they could see Hope holding the goose and petting it, while Grace broke open a glittering egg and tipped the coins into the coffer. We're so lucky, exclaimed Grace. We have enough money now to buy all the things we need without having to work all day and all night. Yes, agreed Hope, and we have this beautiful bird to thank for our good fortune. <coughs> A goose is only a dumb animal, usually thought of as rather simple and generally just fattened up to make a tasty meal. But the sisters had only wanted a goose to provide them with eggs for their breakfast, and their love for this dumb animal had been greatly rewarded. The two gossips had seen everything through the crack in the wall and realized that it was the goose providing the sisters wealth. They could see that Grace kept the key to the coffer on her belt, so they would not be able to steal the gold. So they decided there and then they must get hold of the special goose. They were too scared to steal the bird, so instead they asked the sisters if they could borrow it. It's time to turn over to side two. <laughs> 